Project timelines are an essential part of project management. Are you looking for a quick and easy way to construct a project timeline? Then this tutorial is for you. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA related problems. I am Ishrak Kader and in today's video we'll be discussing how to create a project timeline in Excel. So, let's get started. In this video, I'll be showing you three simple ways to make a project timeline. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Now you may be wondering what exactly is a project timeline. A project timeline is a list of significant events and milestones that occur during the project. Generally speaking, it gives us a visualization of the sequence of events in a project that needs to be completed in a certain amount of time. A project timeline consists of four parts. Task phases, start and finish dates of task, task to task interdependencies, and milestones. Let's begin with the quickest way to make a project timeline. We'll use Excel's built-in SmartArt graphic tool to do most of the work for us. Go to the Insert tab, click on Illustrations drop-down, and select SmartArt. This opens the Smart Art Graphic dialog box. Here I'll choose Process, then select Basic Timeline. Click on OK. This inserts the outline of a simple project timeline. I'll click on the arrow icon. Here we can type in our milestone descriptions. I'll start off with Project Kickoff. Next, we have the first prototype. In a similar way, I'll fill in all the other milestone descriptions. Once we've reached the third milestone, I can press enter to add more milestones to our timeline. Once I've added all the milestones, I can click the cross button, then adjust my project timeline our simple project timeline is complete. Secondly, we can use a scatter chart to visualize complex data in a project timeline. Click the Insert tab. In the Chart section, click this drop down and select Scatter. This inserts an empty scatter chart. Now we'll have to add data in our scatter chart. Click on the chart to select it, then go to the Chart Design Contextual tab. Here in the Data section, click on Select Data. This opens the Select Data Source window. Click the Add button. This opens up the Edit Series window. Here I'll enter the series name, Project Timeline. Next, I'll select the Series X values. Click on this arrow and select the Due Date column from C6 to C10 range. In a similar way, I'll also select the Y values, but before that, I'll remove any default selections. Click the arrow and select the Effort column from D6 to D10 range. Click on OK. Click on OK again, and we can see that our project timeline is starting to take shape. Click on the chart, then click on Chart Elements. This brings up the Chart Elements option. Now check the Error Bars option, click the arrow, and select More Options. This brings up the Format Error Bars pane on the right. For the Horizontal Error Bars, I'll select No Cap End Style. For Error Amount, I'll choose Percentage and set it to 0. Now I can close the Format Error Bars pane. Back in the Project Timeline Scatter Chart, I'll double-click on the Vertical Error Bars to bring up the Format pane. For the direction, I'll choose Minus. For Error Amount, I'll select Percentage and set it to 100. Then I can close the Format Error Bars window. In the last step, click the Chart Elements button, check Data Labels, click the arrow to go to More Options. This brings the Format Data Labels window. Now I'll check Value from Cells option 
and select the data label range. By clicking this arrow and selecting the milestone descriptions in B6 to B10 range. Click OK. Uncheck Y value. Then close the Format Data Labels window. Adjust the chart. And finally, we get our desired results. For our last method, we can download a free template of a project timeline from Microsoft's own website. In Google, search for project timeline with milestones. The link is given in the description box below. You will finally land on this page. In the website, you can scroll down and select any project timeline according to your preference. In my case, I'll select this project timeline, click on it, then click on the download button. This will download the project timeline. Next, I'll open the Excel file. After opening the Excel file, the main interface of the project timeline should look like this. Now to make some room, I'll right click on any of the tabs in the ribbon and choose Collapse the Ribbon. Here we can see the project milestones table is quite large compared to our dataset. So we'll have to remove some additional rows and columns. First, I'll select from B21 to E28 range, then right click, go to Delete option, select Table Rows. This removes the additional rows. Since our dataset does not have any assigned to column, so we can reduce the column width in order to hide the column. After that, I'll click the position column header and rename it to Effort. Next, I'll select all the data and press Delete to remove them. Afterward, we'll copy and paste the data from our dataset. Now, I'll head back to my original spreadsheet and copy and paste the data into this table according to my own dataset. Back in the spreadsheet, I'll select the due date column from C6 to C10 range, press Ctrl C to copy it, then go back to the template. Back in the template, I'll go to the B16 cell, press Ctrl Alt V to bring up the paste special dialog box. Here, I'll select the values option and click on OK. This adds the date from our dataset into the project milestones table. In the same way, I'll add milestones and efforts from our dataset into this table. So, let me speed up the video. Eventually, we can see that the timeline chart updates automatically with our project milestone data. In this section, I'll discuss some of the drawbacks of creating a project timeline in Excel. First of all, Excel doesn't allow us to create a to-do list in project timelines. It only gives us an overview of the assigned work to individual members. Second, project timelines usually depend on manual follow-ups. This means we have to run hourly check-ins, send email to individuals, and inquire about progress one by one. In this demonstration, I have shown you three useful ways to make a project timeline in Excel. You can apply any of these methods according to your requirement and convenience. Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions, or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemy.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye.